It was the 9th of August when we began our journey. It was going to be a long vacation with so many holidays coming you can't really resist but plan a vacation with your loved ones, right? Favorite kind of vacations are the ones that change something within me. My last such vacation was to Kedarkantha and now taking another one to North India was an excitement in itself. Sashya ka namaste. <laughs> channel and welcome to another travel vlog. I am in Srinagar. We have just landed and this is not a final destination. This is just the first step. Uh, we have to go to Leh Ladakh. So in order to acclimatize well, we started our trip from Srinagar and uh, because Leh Ladakh ka trip is incomplete, if you are not in a good group, mein ho. so uh, we are going with Palash family. So his mom, dad, yours Palash by the way. And uh, his mom, dad, uh, his bhaiya bhabi, they've flown from Delhi and they've just arrived before us. And also we have our friends from uh, Ahmedabad who are with us on this trip. Srinagar, the summer capital of Jammu and Kashmir that is located on both sides of Jhelum River. It is most famous for its gardens, houseboats and the Dal Lake. On our way, we spotted the Shankaracharya temple which is located at the top of the Shankaracharya hill. It being afternoon and we being so hungry, we first went to Nathu Sweets which was recommended to me by my papa. He had visited Srinagar years ago and said it's really good. So we ordered Raj Kachori, two North Indian Thalis and Rajma Rice. Truly, this place is a must visit for delicious food. Today we were going to live in a houseboat amidst the Dal Lake and I always truly wanted to take the charm of living on water. Post a hearty meal, we took a Shikara ride to our houseboat. So we've arrived at the houseboat. I have not seen inside but I'm excited. So you enter these houseboats by removing your shoes outside first. These are mostly like homestays where you have cozy drawing rooms with traditional decor, a dining table room and here's a long passage that leads to the rooms. The highlight of these rooms and the houseboat is the wood that makes it so attractive. This is all walnut wood, um, here's a cupboard, the bathroom and it also has a bathtub which I was least expecting. Here's a dressing area, some chairs and a table is also kept. The beds are here and they've provided a double and single bed. By the way, these long curtain type decor was appearing a bit shady to me. But overall, if you are looking for a budget friendly option, you can consider these deluxe houseboats. There are also luxury and super deluxe ones, but for a one night stay, we didn't want to spend too much and bring the costing of the whole trip to an average. Okay, so it's evening and we have all got ready for our Dull Lake boat ride. You can see the Dull Lake behind me and here is our houseboat. Um, I'm really, really excited and looking forward to the boat ride and uh, of course you know experience that whole floating market in the evening by the way i'm wearing this very beautiful blue kurta which is heavily embroidered so just to get in the vibe of kashmir and srinagar and i'm also wearing a lot of uh, silver jewelry so yeah this is my look for the evening the shikara ride is mostly a one hour long ride and it's definitely a must do on your itinerary when in srinagar it's amazing how it's literally a mode of transport and even the concept of floating market amazed me to a great extent. You will get a lot of vendors coming to you. You can bargain and buy souvenirs, jewelry, spices and more. The Shikara takes you through the main market where you can also find some traditional Kashmiri kurtis, carpets and pashmina shawls. Thank you. 
I'd highly recommend you to take the evening shikara ride an hour prior to sunset so that you can enjoy the golden hours for great pictures, see the different colors of the setting sun in the sky and just take in the beauty of nature. We've just come back from a shikara ride and it has suddenly become so windy and also it's become a little cold now. Literally like a complete transition of weather considering how hot it was uh, in the morning and in the afternoon. All we're looking forward is for a great dinner uh, which is arranged here only at the houseboat. Good morning everyone. It is such a lovely morning to wake up to this view in Srinagar and on a houseboat. But today we are going to leave for Kargil. In Srinagar, there was a lot of curfew in the market mein because it was Muharram. Thi. So mostly everything was closed. Tha. But we explored floating markets explore kiye kal, you know, during a Shikara ride in Dal Lake. And also, at night, many vendors came to our houseboat yahan pe aa gaye the to show us you know, a lot of jewelry, and a lot of pashmina shawls, and st stoles, and kurtis. And while on our last Shikara ride back from houseboat to the drop point, we were mesmerized to see children go to their schools in these shikaras. Which class do you study in class? Fourth. Good day. It's true that Srinagar is the jewel of Kashmir and waving back at the Dal Lake, I promise to come back sometime in winters to explore Kashmir properly. But now it was time to just soak in the last glances of Dal Lake and get going with our journey to Kargil. We have just halted here um, to eat some Maggi and have some chai and just see the view behind me that is the Sindh river which we've been told by our driver it goes and merges into the Jhelum river and it's such a beautiful view and pura ka pura na way bhi bahut acha hai Srinagar se uh, Kargil tak ka bhi to matlab hum log sirf aadha ek ghanta hi hua hai humko nikle hue and 2 ghante baad Sonmarg aane wala hai so we will take a halt there click pictures i'm so excited to visit Sonmarg You can see this traveler behind me. We are going to go through our journey karne wale hai because we are all in a big group. That's why we have opted for this. We have booked our trip with Smile and Fly. I will leave their details in the description box. So make sure you check them out. You can also book through them when you are coming to especially you know, places like Leh Ladakh where health conditions can be an issue. Ho sakta hai. Like you want to come with agencies who you trust and especially with us, we have a mom and dad. We also have a kid and we are all different age groups. Ke hai. So isliye we are really, really hopeful that there is no health challenge. Nahi ho. The journey of Srinagar to Kargil is approximately 250 kilometers. That means a long tiring day of travel but not really if you are in the beautiful Kashmir, which is a paradise on earth. The route keeps surprising you with breathtaking views, lush green valleys and refreshing waterfalls that make for a great stop point on the way for pictures. So guys, we've reached Sonmark and now we will tell you what we are going to do here. We will go to the horse riding on the Thajwaz Glacier. और एक दो पॉइंट्स और भी है जहां पर शूटिंग हुई थी बजरंगी भाईजान की सत्य पे सता राम तेरी गंगा मैली के व्हीकल अलाउड वहां पे नहीं है ठीक है इसलिए आप और साइडिंग पे जाओगे उसके बाद हम कारगिल के लिए निकलेंगे ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू ये हमारे हॉर्स राइडिंग वाले भैया हैं बताइए भैया आराम से आपको घुमाएंगे लास्ट वो थाजवास ग्लेशियर आएगा जो अच्छी जगह है देखने की स्विट्जरलैंड जैसी जगह है ठीक है स्विट्जरलैंड जैसी जगह है क्या चार्जेस हैं आपके हॉर्स राइडिंग के 1500 1500 एक जने Just I hey, hot sliding complete guys. I just can't 
can't say how tired I am right now. Especially the descent was so rocky. It was very very bumpy. कि हम लोग इतना थक गए हैं. I think मैं बहुत ज़्यादा थक चुकी हूँ. And I need to gather some strength now. बहुत भूख लगी है. सुबह से ज़्यादा कुछ खाया भी नहीं था सोया. One of the best parts about a road journey is stopping at such small dhabas for some local lip smacking delicacies. You know the biggest highlight about Srinagar Kargil Highway is the Zojila Pass. It is considered as the world's deadliest pass, approx 15 kilometers ahead of Sonmar. अभी हम लोग रुके हैं एट द जीरो पॉइंट यहाँ पे कोई बर्फ नहीं है अदरवाइज यूजली इट्स अ वेरी फेमस स्पॉट वेन यू कम फ्रॉम सोनमर्ग तो टूरिस्ट वगैरह इधर ज़रूर आते हैं एट द जीरो पॉइंट यहाँ पे बहुत स्नो वगैरह होती है अभी तो कोई बर्फ नहीं है इतनी धूप है कि वो पूरी मेल्ट हो चुकी है पर अभी हम लोग रुके हैं थोड़ा चाय और कावा पीने के लिए Really tasty. I'm not just saying it for the video, but it's really tasty. It's fun. It's a little bit of cold. Now we're going to enter. So we've entered the Leh district now. When you are planning for Leh Ladakh, uh, you need to remember that you इस जगह सोनमर्ग में यू कैन बाय ऑक्सीजन सिलेंडर्स एंड आल्सो आप लोग अपने लेह लद्दाख के ट्रिप के दो दिन पहले यू कैन स्टार्ट टेकिंग डायमोक्स वी वर एडवाइज्ड बाय आर रिलेटिव हु इज़ अ डॉक्टर एंड ही सेड दैट वी शुड स्टार्ट टेकिंग डायमोक्स एट लीस्ट टू डेज बिफोर आर ट्रिप बिगिन्स तो डायमोक्स से बेसिकली होता है कि बॉडी का इंड गेट्स यूज टू द हाई एल्टीट्यूड और खून भी पतला रहता है और लंग्स को भी अच्छी सप्लाई रहती है ऑक्सीजन की बाकी तो ले जाके ही पता चलेगा कैसा रहता है हेल्थ कंडीशन Evening was approaching and we had one last stop for the day which was at the Kargil War Memorial. Before reaching the memorial we crossed Dras which is the second coldest inhabited place in the world with temperatures reaching down to minus 23 degrees Celsius in winters. Dras is also known as the gateway to Ladakh. Finally made in time for the Kargil War Memorial. It's so special to visit this. It had to be on our itinerary for today. This memorial was built to commemorate the 1999 Kargil War between India and Pakistan and to honor the war heroes. A walk around this place will carry into you goosebumps all over. On one end the mighty sight of the waving Indian flags will bring about a feeling of patriotism within you and on the other the pink sandstone memorials with names of soldiers we lost in the Kargil 1999 operation Vijay will make you extremely emotional What's not to be missed is a short 10 minute movie dedicated to the Kargil war of 1999 it will definitely bring you a lump in the throat The hotel in Kargil. It is by the name the Kargil, and uh, it's uh, one of the best hotels here, I guess. It looks really nice. I like the interiors and very cozy. It looks. So while everyone else is busy with the checking in, I am just checking around the whole property. It looks, I think I'm looking a little tired. Cause yaar, pura din itna travel kiya hai. It was a crazy day. Checked into our room. Oh my God, my nose is so tanned from that crazy horse ride we did in the afternoon at Sonmark. But anyway, this is what the room looks like here in the Kargil Hotel. It looks really nice, very decent. 
and I'm really happy that we're gonna sleep in these very comfy beds tonight because we really really want a good night's sleep. So बहुत ज़्यादा because हमें भूख लग रही है. So we are going down for dinner. We are gonna proceed for lay tomorrow, and I'm super excited and so is everybody. Um, Shri Nagar and Kargil was just about it. This vlog ends here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please 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 do like this video. Please share it and subscribe to my channel if you did. And uh, but is there to do but anyway so stay tuned for the next one there's no driver inside the car it's going back on its own um, how much for this guys i lost my camera at this shop my heart almost failed